Hey everyone, this is Rainey with Cycle Gear Guide, and thanks for tuning into the channel. Today, we are going to be looking at the Airflight Peacekeeper from Icon. This helmet is one step away from Icon's top model, the Airframe Pro. And that being said, the Peacekeeper is a little bit bulkier and a little bit heavier, but still a really solid option in their lineup. Let's check it out. So let's get to it. One of the things I've always really liked about Icon is their overall super aggressive styling with the majority of their products. And now they have given us the flight shield. Wow, this is the rubber tone or matte finish and it looks fantastic. The helmet looks great from every angle. Kudos to Icon for thinking outside of the box with this one. To go along with great looks, Icon has always been great at providing us with a lot of really cool design options for their helmets, and the Airflight does not disappoint. There are a ton of different styles and colors to choose from, and I mean a ton. And it's not just the helmet itself you can choose from. The face shield, the pin lock insert lenses, the drop shield, the rear spoiler, the optional airfoil top mount, and yes, they even have a visor option to turn your helmet into a dual sport slash adventure style helmet. Did I mention you have a few options? Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. And since we have already mentioned the face shield, let's start here. This shield has great optical clarity and excellent field of vision. It also has what Icon calls their ProLock shield locking system. As you can see, it has a nice solid tactile snap when the shield locks down into place and it's really easy to use with your gloves on or off. It also has vent ports in the lower section to let air in through the chin vent. Now, the Peacekeeper model we have here came with an additional face shield clear, and we also chose the RST dark gold finish. As you can see, it is mirrored and has a slight tint to it, and it looks awesome. As for changing out shields, Icon has done a great job at making the steps very simple. Just open the shield all the way, pull out the side plates here at the opening, then lift the shield up once more, then just pull the ends out and it's off. To install, simply reverse the process with the next shield. Really, really simple, straightforward, which is nice because I personally don't like to change out my shields too often because I'm always afraid that I might break something and then I'll have to order a new piece. With the flight shield, I don't get that feeling at all. It feels really solid. Looking just inside, there is a standard molded breath deflector and also the fog-free drop shield. This model comes with a tinted shield, but again, you have a bunch of color options to choose from. The shield is easily engaged by the slide on the side of the helmet that works well with or without gloves, and you'll get another solid lock when in the up or down position. Let's go to the back now and talk about another one of Icon's signature designs, the sculpted neck roll. Icon has used this on their helmets for a while, but every time I see it, I can't help but love the way it looks. But behind the pretty exterior, we find that this design helps to mitigate the problem of jacket, suit, or even backpack interference, which worked really well when I tested it out. Okay, back to the inside. Icon uses their premium Hydra Dry wicking liner that is, of course, removable and washable. And we also have speaker cutouts that are standard for the air flight. Under the liner, we see the twin channeled EPS foam that is part of what Icon has dubbed their super vent ventilation system. There are four total intake vents in the front with two exhaust ports in the rear. The chin vent switch is also internal and has three different settings as opposed to the normal open and closed. There is off, face, and shield. It also comes with an optional chin skirt, which works well to keep the air out, but unfortunately made the chin vent switch all but inaccessible while I was riding. I also noticed that one side of the chin skirt kept coming out every time I took the helmet off. Another concern I had was in regards to where the cheek pads made contact and put pressure on the back of my neck. I guess that over time you might get used to this and you might not notice it anymore, but initially it was very noticeable and a bit uncomfortable when I started riding. Not a deal breaker, but definitely not a positive. All right, safety time. Everybody loves safety, right? The shell is made of injection molded polycarbonate and has an EPS foam liner that we mentioned earlier. It is of course DOT and ECE approved, 
But I also want to point out that this specific air flight model does not have the MIPS brain protection technology, but there are other air flight models that are available with it. And last but not least, bonus nuggets. Overall weight for the Peacekeeper is about average, weighing in at 3.79 pounds. It does have three different shell sizes, one for extra small, small, one for medium large, and one for XL to 3XL. The helmet fits an intermediate to long oval shaped head, and this particular model also comes with an optional airfoil top spoiler that is easily attached with foam tape and is a matching black color, but also comes in, you guessed it, four additional colors to choose from. So overall, I really like the Airflight helmet that Icon now has in its lineup. The options are seemingly unending and they continue to come out with new patterns for the helmet. And the quality of build, it's really good. It is comfortable aside from the few issues that I mentioned, and I think this is a solid choice for anyone looking for their next helmet. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know what other gear you might want to see reviewed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.